Welcome everybody here to our next webinar at the JFT Brokers. Today we have the 28th of February 2019. And my name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of webinars. Today's topic, yeah, JFT Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. Um, it's a cool opportunity for everybody to be part of uh, JFD Invest and having your own uh, copy trading uh, account and uh, how to do and what to do is exactly the topic of today um, because I want to change a little bit my personal JFD Invest account, uh, so changing a location and um, let's have a view of um, new strategies. I think there are no one right, uh, as we speak, but uh, that will change over time. Uh, up to now, we have 11 strategies, and um, yeah, we are invested. So I'm personally invested in six of those. And uh, today, I want to change and uh, my allocation setup. And um, th therefore, it's a, a good opportunity to introduce how to do exactly those kind of steps. A warm welcome in the name of JFD as well. Um, that should be said as always. And uh, before we actually really start, I have always to show uh, once that slide about the risk disclaimer because we talk about trading. And that means um, finally, if you do similar steps like I do in the webinars, of course, you do everything on your own, on your own responsibility. I think that's, uh, as always, uh, self-explaining. But now let's directly jump into JFD Invest and uh, what we can do there. And um, yeah, it, you find JFD Invest on the web page here directly, and then you go for uh, JFD Invest, and then you are... Uh, on exactly that um, page and uh, yeah what you can see here already uh, let me first scroll down uh, that you see the top five performing strategies as we speak um, that kind of table is updated daily and you see here already five strategies uh, five different trading strategies and what is JFD invest about is simply going for exactly those kind of strategies and copy those trades into, into your personal JFD Invest account. And we see already within that table that we are really talking about high performance um, and trading strategies you see we have returns up to 80 percent here and uh, so that's really um, something very good that we have uh, those kind of strategies available all of those strategies are reviewed and controlled by jfd even the selection process is done by jfd by experienced people and yeah therefore you can be part by simply copy those strategies into your personal JFD Invest account. Those are only five. Later, we will see we have been totally 11. And how to uh, to be part of JFD Invest is simply the four um, steps to be done. Uh, you have to sign in and, uh, to the JFD Invest profile that is more or less the same like a Facebook account, so meaning you need an email address and a password. And then that opens you already the opportunity to see a little bit more details about trading strategies um, because you can see all the closed trades. The next step would be to open a JFD Invest account, which is a special account. Um, uh, that kind of account is uh, not, what are the two special things about that. Uh, one is it's a so-called professional account, uh, so with a leverage of 1 to 100 because you follow professional traders and therefore you have uh, the chance to have those trading conditions as well. And the other special thing is you cannot do own your own trading activities within that account, meaning you cannot open a trade long euro or US dollar. And the only thing uh, you can do is just follow those uh, strategies, but you do the selection process. So you are uh, the head of portfolio management uh, for your JFD Invest account. Then you link the two together and then you can start following any um, strategy. Let's directly um, go into uh, my personal account uh, because uh, I mentioned uh, that we can do all the steps directly. So I log in with my profile name and uh, then you. Uh, 
will see my performance of my JFD invest account. And you see the balance of uh, that account starting at um, 10K and now exceeding already the 13K. So I think hmm, so, uh, that kind of balance or equity curve here um, speaks for its own. It's really a very good uh, growth within that account. Um, so up to now we have in total 42% gross. Gross means in this case before performance fees. Because of course, performance fees are involved here as well. Um, and I will talk about that later. Um, so we see that we have already yeah, achieved uh, really a high growth. And um, now let's quickly go, uh, go through the process. Normally, you want to start investing in new strategies. And you can see that I, right now, as we speak, uh, I'm invested in five uh, strategies. Um, and you see here's a summary of uh, some some details about those strategies. You have inception date, uh, with uh, overall return last month, year to date, and the equity balance deviation, which is quite important. You see, for example, for the high performer here, the Hyperion strategy, we have high equity balance deviation. What does it mean? That means that uh, there has been a time with so-called floating losses, which means um, it's, yeah, mm, as normal trading. You open a trade and those trades might go into the minus. And um, how high or which maximum number has been there, it's exactly this one. So Hyperion is a quite aggressive strategy. Um, and uh, let's uh, quickly um, review the, the, the strategy and the same steps you can do for all the strategies. You have here the growth, uh, the overall growth, and I spoke about uh, equity balance deviation, and we can see that uh, in more detail here uh, over time. And you see that from time to time, we have higher um, floating losses, which are not realized, uh, so um, they are not mm, balanced, but uh, they might occur. And the other thing is what you can always learn about any strategy. You can see the traded instruments. Um, for example, here we see that the strategy is trading uh, mainly with DAX and uh, Dow Jones. Um, has a lot of trades uh, been executed already in the past. So there's a strong statistic behind um, that kind of trading account, which is good. So it's not a sequence of 10 lucky winners. And that's the reason why that strategy might enter JFD West. No, definitely the answer is no. So we have always <clears throat> uh, good statistics behind. Um, and you can see more details like uh, close positions uh, exactly with uh, lot size and so on and so forth. So we are extremely transparent with any information about uh, all the, the um, the details of uh, any strategy. And finally, what is uh, important, um, so you see here the so-called minimum investment sum, uh, which means that is the minimum um, allocation amount we have to use for that given strategy. And there are some other informations, how many people are uh, invested in to that strategy, and you see the total amount of money which is uh, invested, so asset under management, that's AUM. So that's how you can review any strategy at uh, JFD Invest. And um, yeah, I will show what uh, strategy I now want to have within my uh, account, or there are two I want to have uh, within that account. One is um, Archimedes, I have no idea how to pronounce that in English, but uh, that's one, and that's a quite uh, interesting strategy. Um, there are a lot of aspects why that strategy is interesting. One is it has a quite low equity balance deviation. Let's look where this time for that strategy as well. Okay, uh, in the near past, uh, there has been 4%, but that number is not... Uh, uh, that high, and um, 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 oh, I got a question here. Um, why um, for Hyperion? Uh, I, I show it here for um, Archimedes. Uh, if I go for the details, then you see a country, and here in this case, the country is Germany, and the question has been Hyperion. There was a country uh, Bulgaria, so um, that's actually. Mm, 
where the, the master account trader, so the trader of that uh, master account, where this one is sitting. And uh, that's the reason why we have Hyperion in Bulgaria, because the uh, Bulgarian trader is uh, doing exactly uh, that account. So that's uh, some additional information here. So I want to invest in Archimedes, and uh, you see minimum investment is 3,000. We have to keep that number in mind. And um, there's another strategy. Oh, and there's a one I want to talk about one detail, because that uh, strategy is trading, let's call it exotic uh, instruments. So in this case, you see most of the trades are done in uh, Polish slotty, so um, Euro PLN. Um, so that's the main activity, and um, then the next one would be Swiss franc against Euro. So it's trading a miner, and that's quite interesting. I know a little bit more about the strategy, and I like it. Um, and uh, if you go a little bit more in detail about uh, Euro Polish Lottie, then you will realize that there is no huge movement uh, within that pair. And uh, since the strategy is exactly using that kind of behavior, uh, it's quite profitable, as we see. And uh, that's the reason why I want to have that in my account. The other strategy I want to have within my account is the following one, um, and that is uh, Volcano. Because here we have not that high uh, equity balance deviation as well. We have a strong growth, which is uh, fine as well. And um, here we see that we need minimum investment of uh, 500 euro. Okay, we see we have uh, losses and uh, floating losses. But most of the time uh, we have quite stable behavior, which is uh, very interesting. So let's first go for allocation so uh, right now um, i'm invested with 11k but i need to stop a few uh, accounts and that has to be done first because otherwise i cannot invest new money be uh, because <laughs> um, i can only invest uh, what i have so i need to stop a few strategies so uh, what i would like to stop here is um, i want to stop um, power fx so that one uh, will be stopped now, and uh, so uh, that process is now running, stopping any allocation. What does it mean, stopping an allocation? Um, that means that all the trades are closed, um, which are still open, and no new trades are opened. So uh, that is now in process, and I have to stop another one uh, because I need to um, some more extra money here so i stop hunter as well um, i will stop this one as well so uh going for that um so we have um, next strategy to be uh, stopped so once again all trades are closed and um that's okay and finally since we need um even more money, I want to stop Galileo as well. Uh, reason for stopping Galileo is in this case, uh, from time to time, that strategy has a really high uh, equity balance deviations, and I want to be a little bit more on the safe side for my overall trading account, and therefore I stop Galileo as well. So um, now this is uh, running as well. So and I hope uh, within a few seconds I get notification um, that all those uh, things are executed. So first one is now stopped. Uh, you get always a confirmation about that process here as well. And um, then we can uh, reload that page and hopefully we have already a, a little bit of money uh, uh, not my account, sorry, uh, I go for allocation. And okay, we have already some money left, so we can now invest into new strategies. Oh, no, not favorites. Find strategy, and I mentioned I want to invest in Volcano, and um, that strategy uh, is trading only one instrument, um, and uh, that is uh, Australian dollar against Canadian dollar. Um, I don't click once again for that. Um, so 
I have available uh, now 7,000, so that's no problem. So I want to invest, in this case, minimum would be uh, 500. Uh, I want to invest um, uh, 2,000 euros for that strategy. And uh, next step, what you can do is you can apply any risk management. What does it mean? I will uh, press the button here. Uh, I get uh, some information. What does it mean? But I will explain. Um, uh, so it means if a strategy is exceeding a certain loss, so um, let's think about uh, the strategy has losses of uh, 20%, then you can set that level to 20%, which means whenever that strategy is losing um, that kind of money, then um, um, then strategy is automatically stopped. So that's good because it means you can control your risk assessment here. So we have two things how to control. One is the amount of money you allocate for a specific strategy and the other one uh, you can go for that kind of risk level. In my case, I want to ignore it uh, because I only invest 2,000 into that strategy and I'm willing to accept the risk of losing 2,000 euro. And finally, what you see here is the performance fee is 25%, which means um, that is a high watermark. And that means uh, only if the strategy is reaching new highs and we earn money, then in this case, we have to pay fees at the month's uh, end. But only if strategy is earning money, then uh, I have to pay 25% uh, on my profits. You might think, you may think mm, that's a high number. No, because it's only of the profits. So it's only reducing my profits um, and you don't have any uh, management uh, fee. So now I can follow. Um, do you want to really start investing in that strategy? And now process is running. So uh, that means that strategy is now uh, being allocated um, into my trading account. And there was another strategy I want to follow uh, directly. Uh, no, once again, I go for favorites. No, I go to find strategy. And um, I want to invest in um, Archimedes as well. And you see how easy it is. It's only a few mouse clicks and uh, then we can go for that as well. So um, we need minimum 3,000. Okay, I go for exactly those uh, 3,000. And in this case, I want to have a, a risk uh, management as well. And I go here for 50%. For So I'm willing to um, to allow that, or I'm willing to risk 1,500 euros. Um, and that's all I do here. So now I can follow that strategy as well. And uh, I have to just uh, answer those kind of questions. And that's all we, we, we need to do here. So you, what you see here in total, so you see JFT West is um, a mixture of uh, wealth management. It's uh, digital wealth management. It's a portfolio system where you where you act as a portfolio manager, exactly what I'm doing here. So you say which strategy you like and which strategy you want to select into your personal account, and then you do it. And you can stop as we speak, you can um, start a new one as we speak, and you can do exactly those kind of steps wherever you are. The only thing is you need access uh, to the internet, and then you can do all those kind of uh, activities. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and you can do it even when you are on vacation, uh, wherever you are, uh, you have exactly that kind of access. And what you finally achieve, um, as you see, okay, uh, or what you might achieve as I do here with my trading account. So uh, it's really looking great. Um, and we have a lot of growth already. Let me revisit allocation. Um, so now we have uh, we are invested in five strategies total investment sum is uh, 9000 so there would be room for uh, another strategy if we like um, but um, 
I think uh, there's no uh, additional change needed. We can go with exactly those kind of uh, strategies. So I got another question uh, about uh, the one I followed now. Uh, can you really show what kind of traded instruments um, uh, are behind that strategy? And that was uh, Volcano. So all I have to do is pressing that button. And here, what we see under instruments, um, we see, okay, it's trading Australian uh, dollar against Canadian dollar and the number of trades being executed since inception is close to 300. Um, so that means within about 12 months, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, about 25 trades per month. Um, so that's a good statistics. And what you can see as well, if you like, you can have any um, other available information like uh, what is the average trade duration? So how long does a trade um, go? In this case, it's about six days. Uh, you can see statistics of um, how many um, how many trades are winner trades, loser trades, and so on. So you have all that kind of information um, uh, available here. And what I always like to, to visit when I select those kind of strategies, I go for that monthly return table and see how uh, yeah, how straight it goes. So, um, so I don't want to have huge deviations. Um, okay, in this case, in November there was a minus of about four percent, um, but uh, overall, in most months here we have positive green numbers, and uh, that is one reason to select exactly that uh, strategy. Let me um, finally uh, show you something because. Um, Today, um, later uh, today, today evening, I will do a webinar about portfolio um, selection and how to set up a portfolio. And I will use uh, JFD Invest as an example for how to do that. So you find on, uh, under research, you go for, oh, that was wrong. Um, so I need to go, uh, um, not for research, I have to go for, uh, webinars. Um, so now I go for webinars because that is, uh, might be of interest for, uh, later today, uh, uh, supreme discipline of trading portfolio trading. So, uh, you see later the day, uh, 7 PM, uh, German time. Um, I will do a one hour webinar about how to set up a portfolio for a given trading account. So in terms of, um, so you, you are willing to invest, for example, 20K. And now the question is, what kind of strategies and how much money allocation for a specific strategy uh, I should go for to reach some specific targets? And um, then we have the process of looking to the history of all those strategies, the drawdowns, uh, risk involvement, and so on and so forth. And then the question is, which strategy I should select and which amount of money and what kind of results I can achieve with those kind of um, portfolio selection, this kind of portfolio setup. And yeah, how to do that more mathematically um, is a quite cool discipline. And uh, I will show all the steps necessary and uh, I will deliver some Excel sheets uh, with all the histories of those strategies. And then you can do exactly those kind of steps. And uh, I will exactly explain how to do it. So, but that is uh, for uh, today evening. You can register exactly on that homepage uh, for that uh, webinar if you like. So finally, that's the growth we have achieved. Uh, I think that is really uh, a cool story behind. 40% uh, in six months now, uh, one, two, well, that's about six months. 40% uh, is really a, a enormous result. And I hope I can keep track here uh, going further with my um, portfolio selection. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we can uh, go on exactly with that kind of behavior.
If you have any questions um, about how to do steps, or you can uh, write an email to support uh, at jfdbrokers.com, or if you like, you can uh, um, have fi a direct contact to me, then you send an email to s.friedrichowski at jfdbrokers.com. And if you have any questions, just uh, drop me a note and uh, I will help you with whatever is uh, needed. That's for now. 40% is a good number for uh, this week. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes on. Have a nice day and a good weekend as well. See you next week. Bye-bye. Ciao.